I'm Anastasia from Natura Illustrata and I'm an Italian based artist and surface pattern designer with an emphasis on nature. In this extra class you will learn how to paint a realistic and expressive rooster using watercolor. You will learn how to create volume easily, how to imitate different textures, and how to create beautiful color transitions to obtain striking and realistic results. At the end of this class, you will have all the tools you need to paint other colorful natural subjects and make your paintings look truly unique. I can't wait to get started, so let's jump in! Hello everybody and welcome to Etcher Studio. My name is Kitty and I'll be your host for today's class. We are here with Anastasia Morozova who is going to be teaching us how to paint a realistic rooster in watercolor. And if you direct your attention to the chat, you will find a link that has all the information that you need for today's class, the materials, the supplies you need, and any other thing that you'll need about the class is there. And if you have questions during the class, please put them in all capital letters so that I can see them better. If the question is relevant to what she's doing at the moment, I will ask at that time. If not, I'll hold off some of those questions until our question and answer session at the end. And do stick around to the end because we're doing a giveaway for one of our paper blocks. And just so you know, we are streaming today's class for free. It'll be taken down after the stream is over. And you can access the recording for just $7. And I'm going to put that link in the chat as well because you can purchase it right away. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Anastasia, who's going to tell us more about what we're going to do today. Yay, thank you, Kitty. And hi, everyone. And thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm Anastasia, and my project is called Natura Illustrata. So if um, you don't know me yet, I'm a watercolor artist with an emphasis on nature. Um, so in today's class, we are going to paint this realistic and expressive rooster using watercolors. Um, and my goal here in this illustration was to teach you how to approach um, painting of colorful subjects, especially when you see lots of different colors, especially um, contrasting colors, like in this case, we have this blue and this orange red. And it can be tricky to paint subjects like this. Um, even for myself, um, I had troubles with it in the beginning because watercolor paint can mix, you know, and it's, it can be challenging to, um, to get a realistic result and uh, bright colors and do not like make them mix together, do not have any dirt, like to make your painting looks look nice and, and clean. And the other uh, goal I wanted to, um, to have here is how to give your paintings some um, artistic and um, personal touch, you know? and especially by emphasizing the character of the subject that we're painting. So in this case, a rooster. And I will show you how to, to obtain this effect as well. <laughs> so if you're ready, we can get started. All right, here we go. So I'm using Etcher brushes for this painting. Etcher brushes are my favorite <laughs> for now. I mean, they're they're really great. Uh, I love the sharp tip and um, they behave really nicely with watercolor. I will also be using this 24 color watercolor set by Etcher, a ceramic palette and masking fluid. But at the end, I'm not sure I will be if I will be using it or not. So this is not necessarily. This is the drawing that um, I made previously. So I will start with the big brush. I think it's number 10 or eight. I will be mainly using two brushes, one big and one small. So I will be using number eight or 10 and then number two or three. So first of all, I will mix my warm hues and I will start painting with um, the lightest colors. So this is the method I usually use. So I'm using the lightest shades I see on the rooster, especially what we see on its neck in this area. We see there's like this nice graduation and on the wing as well. 
So we will create this color graduation by using these three colors, yellow, um, light orange, and dark orange. And what we will do, we will water um, each area one by one. So we will not work on the whole rooster right away altogether, but I will work on different areas separately. So I'm starting by watering the neck. I'm not touching the head yet, just this orange um, area. So I'm covering it uniformly with water using my big brush. And I will use the wet on wet technique here to create this um, color graduation because wet on wet technique will give us soft transitions and it will allow us to create volume instantly and easily. And this is the method I usually use um, in my work, especially in the beginning. So I'm starting with the yellow color. I'm putting it in the center of the area because this is the lightest, um, lightest area we see on the neck. And I just let the, um, the color spread. And then I wash my brush and I take the medium orange and I apply it on top. Um, I'm kind of mixing it a little bit with the, um, the yellow and then I'm applying it to the bottom as well. So this way I let the paint, um, you know, bloom, but we can still see this light yellow in the middle. Now I take the dark orange and I continue making this graduation by applying the color um, even higher near the, the head and then on the lower area of the neck. So this way I just let the colors blend together, you know, very naturally. I don't need to, to do anything special for it because watercolor does this job for me. And I'm just going this way and applying more color, especially more dark um, orange near the head because there's like a shadow um, created by, by the crown of the rooster. And I apply even more dark red in the lower part of the neck. So this way, without a big effort, we've just created um, volume, first of all, and we created this nice color um, transition, which we can see on the reference. So this is like the natural way the, the neck of the rooster is made. And I think this is the easiest and um, easiest ways of how you can approach painting um, such things. So now we will repeat the same thing on the wing. So same method, I'm just uh, covering the whole surface of the wing with uh, water. And just like before, I'm applying the yellow first in the middle, and then I'm applying the medium orange, avoiding the yellow highlight in the center. And then I'm taking the darkest orange. And just like before, I applied to the top and to the bottom. So this way we will have this graduation um, on this part of the of the rooster as well. Now I'm taking a bit more of uh, the medium orange. So it really depends like when you're if you see that your um, your paper gets wet, you can also try um, to smooth out the edges a little bit by using your wet brush. So just a few more touches of dark of dark orange. And now what we will do next, we will mix the color to paint the crown of the rooster. And we will mix other colors to later on to paint the other parts like the tail and the body. So first I'm mixing the colors for the crown. I'm using these pinks and reds. So basically I'm mixing uh, two kinds of reds, one cold and one warm and I'm trying I'm starting to apply the color right away without um, watering the area first because the crown is pretty small you can see that the the area is very small so um, it's not uh, necessarily you know to to cover it with water first we can just go right away with color so I'm using this cold um, pink red here and um, I used it, I used carmine to mix this color. And I'm just 
kind of covering all the, the area of the crown, avoiding the eye and the beak. So now when it's done, I'm mixing a new color for um, the legs. It's a light yellow. It's very similar to the one we were using for the wing and for um, the, ne the neck, but just a bit more diluted with water. And here, if you, you have any accidental splashes, um, just like I, <laughs> I'm having here, um, you can remove it very easily by just blotting it a little bit with your paper towel. I always use paper towels when I paint, so don't forget to, to grab these as well. So I'm continuing to um, covering the, the legs uniformly with this light yellow color. So at this stage, I'm not trying to create any volume there. I'm just uh, applying one single flat color to the legs and I will add more volume to these um, at the next level. So now we will get concentrated on these two large areas, which are um, the tail and the chest, the body of, of the rooster. And we will need to mix um, colors for these. So I'm cleaning one of the segments of my palette. That's what I usually do when, um, when I work. I just uh, wet it a little bit and I um, take away the the paint with my paper with my paper towel. So I'm mixing the, these um, kind of a teal colors for the tail of the rooster. If you don't have the exact same colors, you can just use other um, blues you have. And um, on one side of the palette, I have this kind of a aqua color and then more of a cobalt um, blue on the other side. So it's always nice to have at least two different shades of color to have like a variety. And um, the method I'm using here, it's the same as, as the previous one. So I'm just um, applying water uniformly to the chest. So we will start um, with the chest. And just like before with my big brush, I'm covering everything uniformly with, with water. Just like before. I'm trying to be careful and uh, remain with, within the area of uh, my drawing. And then I start to um, apply, I'm applying the orange first because if you see on the reference, we have this um, part of the wing on the right side. So I'm first applying this. And then I'm mixing an, uh, another blue color and I'm painting this lower area of, of the chest with this dark blue. So with the wet on wet technique, just like before, I let the color spread and create these color graduations for me. And I'm painting this area just under the neck as well. And as you can see here, if I see that the color uh, expands, like spreads a bit too much, you can lift it up by washing your brush, cleaning it with your paper tower, towel, and um, by, you know, by erasing a little bit this transition to make the transition look, look smoother. And I've mixed a bit of red to my previous blue mix. Um, that's how I usually work. I do not color. I do not, do not mix all of my colors right away, but I kind of mix them when I work. So it's very easy just by adding um, some red. I got this dark purple color, and I'm applying it to um, the legs of the rooster to, to the lower part because, as I can see on my reference, this is um, one of the darkest parts of the body of the rooster. And as you can see, my paper is still wet. So we're still working with the wet on wet technique here. And you can see that the color starts to bloom. And just like before, we have these nice color transitions. And I'm adding a bit more contrast in the area that is close to the wing. And um, I'm working with the tip of my brush to create little details. And now um, looking at my reference, I see that there is a shadow in this area on the chest of the, of the rooster. So 
again with the wet on wet technique i made a few strokes to um to outline this shadow and i'm mixing another blue a bit lighter than the one we were using previously and um, as you can see on the reference we have these um feathers on this part of the chest of the rooster. So I just outlined these as well. And now it will be time to paint um, the tail of the rooster. And this is a very fun part. 